Should point out that Fani does have the assist on the goal by Gabriel Gonzalez. He's making his contributions one way or the other. If not by goal, it's by assist. So Antigua Barracuda have and if you're a team like Antigua that's been beaten to these long balls, why not just three forwards have been interchanging positions fluidly along that front line? Coach John. Too much speed here. Kerwan. It's going to be very hard to go on one of these set pieces here. All these corner kicks that we, that we get, and we have so much size between Dutch, Corey, Gabby and Allen, you definitely have to use that height and get a goal in there right now. And this time it is Lopez to take. Fondi hiding behind Corey Miller. Outswinger this time. Ooh. Gonzalez gets a touch on it. Dutch Jock! Corey Miller offside on throw ins. And Barracuda just let him go. That's a rule that they should know as well. And I think they do. And Blues attacking the ball well, but Antigua Barracuda defense holds strong. Momani. Good oh, ball. lovely passing, and Dutch Jock scores his first goal in an L.A. Blues jersey. Correction, make that his second, but it's a beautiful header. And on the 59th minute mark, it's the L.A. Blues 3 and Antigua Barracuda nil. It's a great setup by Kichi there. Nice little one-two with him and Mershot. And good opportunity for Dutch to get his head on top and put it in the back of the net. Two goals for him so far. This is very good for a center back. Had that explosion when he was on the ball. Just so how short that bench is for Antigua Barracuda. The LA Blues have to say out to the corner for Karanja Mack. And that's a good ball back oh. across. Oh, bad giveaway to Morley Thomas. There's heads, Seaton and Geisley. And now the ball is played in the back to a Jock, number six. Ball, ball thrown in. And this is dangerous here. Geisley pounces on the turnover. Geisley's shot was blocked. Here's an opportunity. That's Pizarro, but here comes Seaton. Michael Seaton, the youngster on the run, tried to slide a pass through. Nice defense that time from number five, Jock. As Mike Callahan goes to the end line, and the ball's still in. Good one on one battle, and now Davis comes over to help out. Zinguena, nice little one touch, but a little bit too strong. Right idea. Just it, it shouldn't be hard, but uh, you're right, I've seen it as well. It's a spongy surf. Ball played and and that's Corey Miller again. Yeah. He's he's a pretty physical yeah. player. Finesse is not in his vocabulary. <laughs> like for like, Stanley Niazamba, very similar to uh, Joseph Naguena. Robinson playing that ball into some open space. Delicat trying to pressure the Los Angeles. Uh, for LA to get a get a goal, this is it right here. And you know, can't rely on anything else other than just trying to finish one here. Perez with the uh, corner. Dykstra punches it away. Into the middle, oh, Dykstra, Jock. Very similar players, very similar yep. players. Stanley's yep. very unpredictable, just like just like Joseph Naguena. And, you know, Stanley hasn't started that many games this season, but has two goals, so it's a huge testament, testament to him. 46th minute. L.A. looking to switch fields. Ball headed up top, some fresh young blood in there that haven't started as much, and uh, definitely giving some fits for L.A. as L.A. is looking to serve one in here, looking for a dummy run there and a turn. Opportunity here. Wow. Ball still in place. The two players broke free. Harada's calling for an offside, telling the assistant referee that there should have been an offside there, but L.A. turns, fires away from three feet, and unable to score, and the fans and the Dutch Lions and even the L.A. Blues, a little bit disbelief there. Yeah, we'll see if we can get a look at this and see. I don't know, kind of tough. Really hard to tell from this camera angle, but uh, there are a couple of Dutch Lions in the middle of the field that possibly kept those L.A. players on. Davis serves it in, head ball owned to do. Looking at the switch field here, he's probably going to have a strike here. Low ball there, right to Matt Williams, snares. Continues here, 51st minute. L.A. Blues, Dayton Dutch Lions tied at 0-0. L.A. looking to make something. Back to Harada. Looks to turn there, but L.A. can't. Let that happen as they make a counter strike there. Excellent opportunity. And now LA trying to creep into the box and make something happen. Looking to make a cut. Looking for help there. A beautiful one two combination. And LA is going to serve up a kick here. Matt Wood. 
So, possibly a sigh of relief for Dayton, getting the top player, the USL Pro Player of the Week, out for that match. But L.A. looking to make something happen here. But they four forward as much now, only sending two and trying to hold their midfield. Well, again, we've mentioned second game in, in three days. LA has stepped up the pressure there, and you, you saw Bardsley going back to help out, and you want the forwards to come back and help out on defense. Uh, but he did kind of cough it up, and Hall was all over it, and L.A. was able to continue the attack down the side. L.A. looking to make something happen here. Might have a strike attempt here, but ball's going to be deflected away, but still goes to the top of the box, Ooh. headed away. Dayton Dutch lines. High pressure from Dayton. L.A. looking to turn, able to do so. Puts it to back post, head. Actually, take the back. The shot was by Lopez. Hernandez trying to send Torre down the center. Here's Torre now. Torre picking up some speed. Down through for Basso. And a great defensive play there, stepping in by Ant So far tonight for L.A. Explosive player, fun to watch. Left-footed swinger. Ball sent in by Malore. That one headed away, though, in the center. And then early, very early in the second half, the first minute, the 46th minute there. Ball in now for Torre. That one knocked away. Gonzalez gets it to Fondi. Fondi trying to work it forward. Here is Jan Ekra still with it. Ekra taken down. It comes to McLaughlin. He gets the shot off. Save made McLaughlin. Another one. Here's Torre inside the box. Gets the shot. Another save. Pelletier trying to get to it. And Torre looking for the ball again. Three times, and Mohammedy comes up with some big saves. McLaughlin again down this near side for Harrisburg. McLaughlin swings this one in front, and that one gathered in by Jock. Lopez now can't keep that in for McLaughlin. McLaughlin outside for Bonner. Bonner trying to get there, swings it across the front, and that one knocked away by Jock. Mukasada. Mukasada streaking down in front. Mukasada stops, checks it up. He's held up in the box. No call. The ball comes back for Malore. Malore still with it. Back post down his side. Swung all the way back across by on the watch. That's what we're going to get. Four minutes to stoppage time. We're already a minute and 13 seconds into it. Momenting is up and to the sidelines pretty quickly. Jock will send this one forward now. Andrews knocks it down for Bonner. Bonner trying to work forward now. Bonner in. Oh, it's still in his back pocket. So L.A. will get the restart here in the 93rd minute. Four minutes of stoppage time. Ball sent ahead. Fondy. This ball ahead. Quickly. Mukasada trying to get on the end of it. Jock steps in for L.A., able to get a touch. Pettis comes down for Ekra. Ekra stepping in. Jan Ekra has some space in for Mukasada. That one turned away for Pelletier. Pelletier swings this one down inside. Mukasada. Both teams will be hoping to get a top four seed and, and get a home game in the quarterfinal round as... Cuevas turns it to Kelly. Thought about the shot, but he couldn't get the uh, ball away cleanly. Battles and uh, keeps it alive. Charlotte out. They're a pesky uh, bunch, those lot, and they will uh, just SLA.